my lovelies and welcome to another vlog as you guys can see i'm in my very very comfortable happy place back home so fashion weeks are officially over i mean they're sort of like i would say a bittersweet moment let me let me put you here so we can sit and chat hold on there's a bittersweet moment about this whole like fashion week is over situation because i have to be very honest i had a really really great time during the fashion month specifically because it feels like some sort of marathon i don't know like some sort of tour that you have to do as part of your business right like i would say that probably every business has that sort of period when you are working extra hard when you're not allowed to take holidays when it's not about you it's just about like the performance because like back in the days when I worked in the pharmacy, that was December. You're not allowed to take any days off in December, not one day off in December because it's like a mega, mega intense time. You have to make sure that before Christmas, everybody gets their medication. People get more sick in December. It's like the whole, it's the season. Like, what can you expect? And you mentally prepare yourself for like extra hard work and then once it's done you just feel kind of like you've done something good you feel like you've pushed through it you know and i mean i wouldn't really compare working in health and working in fashion because i don't feel like it's the right thing to do but i have to say that i feel great and i feel very happy and i am so happy that i'm back home for several reasons i feel comfortable i feel so i don't know like cozy and loved and and I'm in my familiar space and I have all of my stuff and the light in my home is just guys the only thing missing is Filippo because he's currently in Doha but he's coming tomorrow so things will get perfect another thing is that makes me feel like in such a good headspace is that I just spent a few days with my family in England and my god how much was that needed it just felt do you know how it felt literally in every single possible way it felt like when you have shoes that are really like hurting you your feet and you take off the shoes that's how comforting and amazing it felt to spend time with my nephews with my sister with my brother-in-law they have the most adorable dog in the world to like ah oh, have the normal life and do the school run with my sister and pick up and like eat hot cooked meals that was just the best the best the best the best so now we're back in milan i actually have so many things that i want to share with you that i don't even know where to start by the way talking about which i will not start in a particular order but I got a new Fornacetti candle during Milan Fashion Week. I don't even know if you guys managed to see that because Milan Fashion Week was so packed with different stuff. It smells insane. It's kind of... I think there's some amber. I'm not sure, but the best of all is that it contains a symbol of sun and the symbol of sun is something very dear to me now i do not have any tattoos and i do not plan on getting any tattoos just to make things clear but if i was getting the symbol tattoo it would be the sun it's always been very special to me ever since i was a child it's been kind of following me throughout my life is that crazy the sun has been following me throughout my life and every time that i see the symbol i know i'm on the right path now this is like really really something so bizarre but i am a little bit sometimes spiritual like that so i'll, I'll give you concrete examples okay when i was a kid so you guys know that my parents fled the war when i was three and we sort of like lived in this not here not there situation we didn't really have like a proper home right but i didn't have a routine which is something that child i think really needs to have but i was kind of lingering like with grandparents with aunts uncles you know whatever and then at one point they were like working on a new business where i was kind of coming and staying like to be taken care of and then i met this artist that was painting next to where they were opening an acupuncture center in novi Sad. so i met this painting and he made me a painting of a sun that looks so similar to this you guys like i will insert a picture of that sun okay the painting and it's so special to me i still have it he gifted it to me it's very very special to me and i have a special sort of like oh my god i'm talking in such tangents why am i even talking about this anyway i'll get to the point he wrote me a special message at the bottom afterwards when i started school when you get into the school everybody gets their symbol like i don't know some people were like flower or a star whatever i got assigned to a class with the sun okay if i can find an image i will insert an image very 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 important because 
my first ever teacher. I feel like I've spoken about her many times on this channel. She played such an important role in my life. She was my teacher from the age of six to the age of 10, but she really, really helped me get on the right path because I wasn't ready to go to school. I wasn't sure I understood anything in life. I struggled and I needed like extra direction. And like I said, my kind of family situation was a little bit complicated because my parents worked really hard and I just needed that extra push and she really gave it to me. And I feel like she played a huge important role in who I am today. I really think about her a lot. Yeah, anyway, like throughout the life, the sun symbol has really followed me. And when we went to the Fornaset event, there were many different candles from different collections and people were saying, let's see who got what. And I just picked the bag. And when I came home and I packed it and I thought it was the sun, it was something really important to me. That's a very, very emotional thing I wanted to say. So that was the first thing. Besides that, I really love the smell of this candle. Candle. It's beautiful. Anyway, so what are we doing? There's another thing that I think is quite important that I want to share with you. We got, guys, our furniture that we've been waiting for forever, but I'm going to show it to you in this video. However, I don't want to just reveal it like that because I need to sort out the second living room in a better way. So it needs to be like a little bit of a lounge. It needs to be better. It needs to be organized. Obviously, it was only a man hand at home for a while. So that's that. Another thing is I'm by the way, watching the David Beckham documentary, I'm loving it, which is so bizarre because at the same time, while I'm watching the David Beckham documentary, Filippo is in Doha with David Beckham. And he was like, oh yeah, like, you know, yesterday I spoke to David about this and I'm like, I'm just watching the documentary. How weird is that? I strongly recommend it. I think it's quite interesting and quite insightful because it shows a very special vulnerability of a very successful man in many different fields. I think you guys know I'm quite a bit of a feminist. I'm a girl's girl first and foremost, but I also like to examine a little bit of how successful women in the world are perceived. And in this occasion, for me, it was even more interesting to watch like how they presented and everything around Victoria Beckham, especially in media. I first and foremost think she's like a very successful woman, but also a very smart woman because she's very witty. I love her sense of humor. It's a little bit like if you get it, you get it. If you don't get it, like too bad. You know what I mean? So this was quite interesting to me. I do think that for a woman, to be successful and to be actually acknowledged as a successful woman, it's almost impossible. There's always someone that doesn't want a woman to succeed or to be perceived as a successful woman. So it was just interesting to see how much people wanted to hate her for no reason, in a way. And I'm so happy that she's really done so well first with her music career, which obviously was already huge at the time, but then also afterwards with her fashion line and now with her beauty line too. And I'm so happy and I literally wish her all the best. I just wish like there were more and more women supporting other women and not the other way around. Okay, now I think we need to go and make a little iced coffee because it's that time of the day. I need a nice coffee. And then perhaps we're even going to talk about my home. Guys, I have not unpacked because I arrived late last night. This is so needed. I arrived late last night and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to unpack. I need to take a really lazy morning off. I'm gonna face mask. I'm gonna watch Netflix because I haven't done that in like a month and I'm okay with that. Like I'm not someone that is like completely sort of like watching. Do you guys know that we don't have a TV at home? Well, let it sink in. But we do not have a TV at home and we do not need it. We have like a, oh, basically the only screen that we actually have is the one on the treadmill. And that's kind of crazy because when we got the treadmill and it arrived, Filippo said, finally, we have a TV. So that's kind of funny, kind of not funny. I'm not sure. But yeah, I need to unpack, but I wanted to have first of all, a bit of a lazy morning to plan a lot of things. I want to have a trip with my team, like kind of like a team bonding trip which we're actually planning for November. So I want to plan it now when it's like still far and I don't feel pressured about it so that I can still focus on it nicely and actually enjoy the process of planning. And then a few little things like, you know, I have like a holiday to plan as well, which I'm very much looking forward to with my favorite person in the world. You know, like little things like that that will make now that I have like a bit of work, like this month, we actually have quite a bit of things to do. So I'm going to Paris twice in the next month. I'm going to London twice for two different jobs. Once kind of like the first half of October, once second half of October. I'm going to Spain very soon in two days time, actually day after tomorrow. I don't even know if I have tickets yet. I need to figure that out. So, you know, like a lot of exciting things are happening, but what I want to do is just first have like a little break for my brain and then sort of like 
continue building and doing all the other stuff so i wanted to show you a few of the things that i got recently either i bought or got gifted i will make sure that i uh tell you what's what one thing that i bought at the beginning of fashion month that i really like these i've used them i think you maybe have seen it i used it in new york i used it in london i think or maybe i got them in london i don't know but it's these dr dennis gross eye masks but it says visibly lifts and firms and fills the appearance of fine lines i really just love how this lift and repair eye mask was kind of like hydrating around the eye area i will link this below if you guys want to check it out one thing that i bought when i was in new york at sephora that day when i went with xenia is this kosas plump and juicy vegan collagen spray on serum really love this but then when i went in england i saw that they also sent me one in the meanwhile mm so there's a new one but i have one in my makeup bag it smells almost like a rose water very very light and it says lifting plumping microbiome balancing plant probiotic soothing artemisia flower extracts love it really 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 love it we'll link it below as well guys something that i bought just now that i'm so excited about i bought two of the hourglass palettes you know they do these uh seasonal palettes this is the one with like cheetah i would say um i bought the one with the snake as well but my suitcase situation is very questionable this is the leopard okay hey did i break it no i didn't a little bit but i think it survived okay so this is the leopard palette look how beautiful this is the snake one is even deeper but i love oh my god the highlighter is really highlighting look at this i love hourglass it's probably one of my favorite 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 beauty brands in the world we'll link this below as well these sell out really fast so like last year i bought the elephant one i still use that one but wait where is the snake i want to show it to you i'm not gonna be lazy i'll find it hold on imagine if i forgot it this is so strange nope cannot find it i have no idea where it is anyway um one thing that i got gifted but i've repurchased this many times before is the tata harper resurfacing mask i love 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 this mask because it just like kind of exfoliates really well one product that i need to buy that was gifted to me before is from my friend annie jeffrey's brand nourish guys that face mask i face masked with it before the fashion month and i had the most insane glow everybody was like what is it what is it i was showing everybody it's like this mask you have to buy it you have to buy it you literally need to apply it on for like only a few minutes time and you can feel it working it's incredible i need to buy it before i post this video because i feel like this is like a sell out product it's insane so good well of course you know that i bought in paris my coromando love it so much i just want to live and bath in this perfume it's so good for autumn winter specifically love it i can actually do my fragrance collection or autumn selection if you guys want to see it but i have written a blog post about it i believe i also sent a newsletter about my favorites so make sure to subscribe to my newsletter we send out one every single sunday and it always includes kind of like products i'm really loving at the moment nothing sponsored i've never done a newsletter that is sponsored i never will do a sponsored newsletter it's always organic products that i'm loving and that i'm wearing and it's kind of like really from me to you something that i want you to have and something that i want you to see that i'm loving let's move on i also bought this avida scalp massaging brush because i use a lot of scalp serums at the moment i'm really loving this multi-peptide serum from ordinary really good price really good product so check it out got a lot of hourglass brushes because guys these are literally the best brushes in the world so i have two of the same ones these these are very multi-purpose this is the foundation one and then this is the new one for the snake palette that we have no idea where it is now i got this in post is the bioderma micellar cleansing oil just because i always always love cleansing oils and the product that i use to remove my makeup is sam chapman like the melting ah oh, it's the best i think i have like five in my bathroom because i always stock up with it but i was like okay let me just try this as well but i love the sam chapman one it's the number one in the world for me i've never worked with a brand literally i buy it always myself it's quite pricey but it's so good and when you actually go to remove makeup at night it feels like a spa like treatment now la prairie i love so much and there's like two serums that i love there's the white caviar one and then there's this one which is kind of goldish i don't know if i think i can remove this yeah it's like this can you see it goldy beautiful it's the pure gold radiance concentrate and it's divine first of all the packaging is so can i return this now oh my god did i do this also last time and then i couldn't um ah okay okay there's a way i understand okay i understand 
I just need to slide it in. Is it sliding? No, hold on. It's a little intelligence test. Made it. <laughs> so this is so beautiful and it's like matte gold. And I really, really love actually how this feels on my skin. I actually really like this Dalba aromatic spray serum. It's like a white truffle spray serum. And apparently this has more antioxidants than propolis, the truffle. It's like white truffle extract. It gives such a nice glow also after makeup. I really, really like it. Fine mist, sort of like cloud-like. Ah, oh, it's just beautiful and refreshing. I'll, I'll put it actually in the fridge. I need to check if I can put it in the fridge because then it feels so good. What else have I got here? Something that definitely you don't want to see, but it's my back pain patches, guys. When we arrived from New York to London, I had such a bad back pain. And I mean, I'm not gonna lie, let me tell you. I actually have a lot of musculoskeletal issues since I was a kid. So this is something thing that is just something I've learned to live with. So first of all, I have extremely mobile joints, like hyper elastic. Like look how much I can bend my finger. People sometimes get really freaked by this. I'm very bendy. I can do like splits. I'm very elastic. Some people say it's like a very Eastern European thing. That's why like the best ballet dancers are from Eastern Europe because like, you know, I can really bend also my foot. In general, I also can withstand a lot of pain. But growing up, I realized what you guys have sometimes noticed that I have actually protruding ribs so they come out and I also have a protruding chest bone so sometimes people would say like oh my god you're so skinny but actually I have some sort of like skeletal deformities anyway <laughs> that's another topic that same thing kind of I don't know I just think the way that I am there are so many things that people point out and they're like hey there's something wrong with you here and like my jaw is crooked and like a very very long narrow face there's like a lot of things that people sometimes point out but I just know that they're very me specific and that's okay because what's so bizarre about me also that as even though I work in such a like a vain industry in a way and an industry where like physical appearance is important and I love taking care of my physical appearance I love experimenting with my look I love getting treatments and facials and stuff they do not determine the way that I feel about myself at all is that weird I do not actually I have like a very stable self-esteem it doesn't mean that it's very high self esteem or very low but it's always stable which means that it doesn't depend on whether or not other people find me beautiful you know what I mean it's always the same okay it's not very high it's not very low it's just very stable it's fixed it's there and it's very kind of like a rational self-esteem if that's even possible I don't know anyway so talking back to my skeletal issues I have like some nerve pain like I've been suffering with sciatica since I was 20 that is like sort of like the inflamed nerve in your hip and I actually it's mostly on my left side which is also bizarre like currently I for the past year probably I've had inflamed nerve in my left shoulder that is mainly because when I'm traveling I'm using my phone or I'm holding my phone with my right hand and with my left arm I'm holding the luggage or pulling the luggage and it's always like that you know so yeah so anyway I also have a very bad posture on top of all of that right which we know we don't need to highlight that okay very bad posture that I'm working on. The problem is that this ligament here, it's not actually the back, it's this ligament here is very short and I need to work on elongating it so that my shoulders can go in the right position in the back instead of going in the front. So that's something that I need to work. I even have, where is it? I wore it a lot yesterday, a back brace type of thing, strap thingy, which is supposed to help me with the back pain. And when I landed from New York to London, I had such a bad back pain, guys, that I could not sneeze without being in pain. I couldn't bend down to do my shoelaces. Did you know that on this video? No, because I don't like to complain about those things as we get on. I, first of all, I don't like to complain. I complain only when I like kind of forget that I'm actually talking to a lot of people here because I'm like talking to myself. But so yeah, I have a lot of back patches because the pain was like ridiculous, literally ridiculous. I finally managed to collect my new passport holder, which is this Chanel passport holder. I actually bought it several months ago, but I forgot it in the hotel when I was staying at the cafe. Royale and they were like you forgot your passport holder and then yeah they sent it to my UK address and now I'm finally using it it's I think quite cute it's just like the kilted CC and then inside I still haven't actually used any of this so yeah that's that then I have my new phone that I just picked up but I haven't yet installed and what I find really incredible is that the charger on the new iPhone 15 is now the same as the charger on the computer I don't know if you can see I have a case my sister bought me a case. It's very cute. <laughs> anyway. 
um so that's that let's just say that what else have i got that i'd like to show you guys nothing literally nothing i have a new led device that i'm yet to try on my face i'm very excited about that and the best discovery for me of this whole entire month that if you could just buy one thing from this whole haul that i really recommend nothing is sponsored okay i've told you there were like two things that were gifted like this and this but i use them and i repurchased them from before but guys i bought this and i love it so much it's a shower head okay it is from random brand that i've never i don't even know what's it called but what i love about this shower head is that it's set to when you have the hard water in whatever you live which means that the water is full of like um calcium carbonate right this actually softens the water which is much better for your skin much better for your hair much better for everything and the best part of this is the actual experience that you have when you're showering it's so good so if you're gonna buy one thing i bought this for everybody i bought it currently for my mother i bought it for my sister every bathroom in her house every bathroom in my house this is the shower head that we use that we love because it's so good and my brother-in-law said this is the best thing that i ever bought so yeah you don't have to trust me but trust me it's really good so yeah that's kind of where we at right now now i think i'm gonna go and continue watching the beckham's documentary i'm gonna try and tidy a little bit here we need to prepare my wardrobe also for fall you guys very soon i want to organize everything for fall i want to reorganize my jewelry and the accessory section i just need to de-summarize that's not a word but de-summer my wardrobe and make it a little bit more wintry even though it's 20 plus degrees in milan it's indian summer it's beautiful the light is gorgeous in my house in our house but at the moment is my house because philip was not at home and yeah that's more or less it i'm gonna also go and try to install my new phone because that will be quite a fun little task for today so i'll update you in a second guys i'm just planning on kind of like changing up my spring summer this section i don't know if you can see there's me hi i'm planning on changing this into something a little bit more sustainable for the months to come and literally have a ton of chai fur and oran sandals but i really Realize there's something that you haven't seen so you've seen these um this is the pink sling back from one of my last videos which was um the chanel kanban haul this is it i think they're quite cute and i don't really have any other shoes in this color or even in this style i would wear these with like baggy jeans kind of to contrast it all a little bit but then i also got something that you haven't seen let's see if this is it yep okay so this is the black denim subtle logo ballerinas i think these are so so cute i do know that they come in a sling back version and also in a blue denim version but i'm really looking forward to wearing more of a chanel ballerina now especially because my feet really need that kind of break and here are the last but maybe even my favorite these are kind of like a canvas tip i don't know if you can see but it's canvas with cc logo and they're the same as the sequins that you could have seen on let me darken it a little bit maybe you'll see it better same as on the suit you see on the suit that i got waistcoat and the and the pants from chanel but i didn't get that at kanban and then when i saw them i was like okay i need them i have a few more things from chanel that i'm trying to get well i think you guys already know that i'm waiting for that kelly bag and i'm waiting for something else as well which i completely forgot now what it is but i know that my sales associate knows now i have like quite a nice selection or collection of chanel shoes i love these especially i haven't worn them enough but i love them with hermes cargo bag because they're navy here so you can see them i also haven't worn these a lot but i'm planning to wear them now in full beautiful denim ballerinas i have these these are worn lots but they're quite old and then i have some sling bags as well these i've never worn uh i have had them for a while now but i've never worn them i think it was like quite a blue pair that's probably why and yeah i'm very much excited to wear these now when the fall comes but obviously this sort of situation i will still need them because you guys know that in december i like to go to dubai or somewhere where it's warm so i will not put them away away but just will need more space for boots now also i am looking forward to wearing these more i just remember that last season when i swapped the sandals for boots my best friend was in town and we've done it together that was so nice because actually i had like loads of help from her i was also very much looking forward to wearing the mew mew boots and these new chanel cowboys i think i've shown you these here we go they're very simple no logo well i think 
yeah just like a tiny tiny logo at the back but nothing special and i really can't wait to wear these love this type of stuff so yeah we need to do a lot of organization planning i was just unpacking the new bags i need to plan how i'm gonna organize this section here i need to make sure to organize things so that they make sense and so that it's all very obvious where things are and so that i can find stuff that i'm searching for because it's very important for me especially when it comes to autumn when styling is actually so much fun so yeah i also got these prada shoes haven't worn them yet love them look how beautiful i got them a while ago they just didn't get their moment during fashion week yet so i'll link them below if you can still find them because i think they're so cute obviously these you guys have seen me wear i'm loving the fergamo the red shoes that i got recently as always i love my jimmy true asias this is like one of my favorite shoes that i own will stop so yeah there's a lot of fun stuff i also love these kate ballerinas that like see-through they require like an absolutely perfect immaculate pedicure but that's not a problem right and then the alaya as well so yeah a lot of fun stuff and a lot of unpacking that i need to do but i'm procrastinating by talking to you guys guys new day and today i'm so happy because my favorite person in the world that i miss so much is coming home Filippo was in doha for formula one and finally he'll be coming home very soon and i was thinking maybe i should actually cook something but i can't cook so i was thinking okay i mean it's a nice idea just technically cannot be really executed but i can make really good crepes and maybe it's not a dinner but nice little snack or a dessert and i'm sure he'll eat already on the plane and all of that stuff so let's just be honest i just wanted to eat crabs and now we're gonna start to work on that so i think this is basically a completely entirely new background for my vlogging channel because i'm a never in the kitchen b never vlogging from the kitchen so yeah that's all i have to say but guys i have so many things that i need to do that i haven't actually done um i think i have flour somewhere let's just find it i'm sure i've had some and i didn't buy some now because i was like oh my god i have so much flour is this a joke no it's here thank god i almost thought i'm going crazy to be very honest with you okay so i want to talk to you about a few things i have so many things that i need to do that i'm just not getting done because i like backlog from other things that i haven't done and one of them is wedding planning and i know that wedding planning is not like something that should be a backlog or a chore but i don't think i'm that great at event planning that's the thing actually Philippe was really good at event planning maybe i should bring the camera here because i think there you can't even see me okay guys this better yes so let's talk about wedding planning how much flour as i wish when i'm cooking i do everything kind of how i feel there's no recipe so i will never be able to actually write a recipe so what we have there's one thing that i think is quite essential like everybody is asking me when's the date we don't have the date because we are yet to have the venue but i'm very good at breaking eggs we don't have the venue and the reason why is because we haven't actually decided on the venue we have decided probably on the place not on the venue and also it depends on the availability so you can't just say like i want this venue because if it's not available until 2026 you know what i mean like Filippo's was quite excited to get married and he's the one who's kind of been like let's do it let's do it he's told me let's just let's just go and get married like tomorrow and i was like i don't have time you know what i mean like in a way that you i want to prepare so many things that i wanted to be perfect i also want my wedding dress to be i don't know what but i need it to be perfect i also need to give some time to my family to prepare everything so i think i don't know how people plan weddings i honestly do not know plus there's one big thing initially we wanted to get married in capri i don't know if i said this before that was a big kind of like wish of ours i think i mentioned it briefly but it's not easy like capri is a logistical nightmare okay if you're getting married in capri you're like inconveniencing all of your friends and family because the truth is that to get to capri especially for people who've never been there before is not easy and like i don't want people who are arriving at our wedding to like kind of hate us before they've even arrived because everything is so difficult right it's not that like we're not going to organize everything for them it's just that think about it you have to fly to naples then you need to take a car 
car to the port, then you need to take a boat to the island, then there's no taxis on the island because most of the island is pedestrian zone, so your luggage has to go with a little trolley thingy bob. It's not easy, okay? Like even like for people that have been many times there, by the time that you arrive, you're like exhausted. So yeah, we have, like I said, a new location where we would like to get married, but we just need to decide like the place and we need to go there and we need to spend like at least a day or two having a look at the venues and you know how it goes. Now I need to make a little break because I need to put this on. Okay, this is done. So talking about weddings, yes, to answer like a few very much asked questions is we do have a wedding planner. She's great. Very excited for like kind of planning once we actually have the venue. The problem is that we couldn't find one day that we can go both to the place where we want to get married to actually do the research and to investigate what is our dream venue because currently we are still in a process of just having an idea and one thing with me and Filippo the difference between us is that he is very much like every day he gets a different idea or like he's like oh my god why don't we get married there and I'm like no we've already decided on a location whereas me I'm like once I decide I'm like that is it okay like I'm not changing my mind regarding the place etc etc so we need to go and look at the venues and I mean I do say we decide on location meaning that I kind of have an idea on which location like when I say location I don't mean the venue I have decided but I think that this month we're gonna take like two days out of our schedules to go and have a look at the venues because we really need to get things moving and get things planning if we want the wedding to be next year that's another thing like is it gonna be next year i mean like we're not really in a rush we want it to be next year definitely but again are we gonna find a place i don't know so yeah lots of you have asked me that regarding the dress i already have my ideas on the brand i've had one brand in my mind since the moment we got engaged like since the second day we got engaged i was like okay this is one of the brands that i will definitely consider the other brand i had as an idea i don't know why i put this in the pizza plate but the first crap is done the second brand I had in my mind like kind of later on because yeah I kind of thought maybe it wouldn't be bad all the brands that I'm thinking about at the moment like I said I haven't tried any so this could change significantly I have three brands in my mind actually not two but all the brands that I'm thinking are couture brands yeah we'll see maybe I don't like them when I try things on I've never tried on like proper wedding dresses in my life and when I speak to the designers to understand what they can do and whether we have like a similar vision you know how these things go this is delicious so that's a little wedding talk also tomorrow morning I'm flying to Barcelona because we are going on a trip with my Teresa for the Raban capsule collection. There's a lot of Raban this month and I'm very excited because I will be spending some time with my friends again but I'm very sad because I literally haven't seen Philippe in like seven eight days and now I will again not see him for a little bit because from Barcelona I will go to London and he will be at home so that's a little bit meh. But you know what it is how it is when there's work and I'm a girl that's not afraid of working and I love my job and also I think that one thing with Filippo and me is the reason why we fell in love with each other also besides many other things besides the fact that I think he has the biggest heart in the world is also because he's such a hard-working man he loves to work he's not afraid to work he's not afraid to kind of like how do I say this he's not afraid to pull up his sleeves and really go there and every time that I'm like oh my god baby you're waking up so early next day he always tells me yes it's for our future it's for our children it's so that you have the best life and that's I think so romantic because everything that he does it's like with the ambition that he wants me to enjoy this life and I love how hardworking he is but equally so he loves that about me I'm not sure if Filippo would love a girl that wants to stay at home you know because he's quite hardworking I don't know if he would want a woman that is more into like you know but I'm definitely not a girl that can enjoy doing nothing it just is what it is so that's kind of a little background on everything that's going on around us currently wedding planning so many other things that I want to tell you but let's finish the crepes now it's turning into like one of those like eating videos but look at this Nutella crap it's so delicious I actually wanted to talk to you about like few new things that I got well first of all I told you about the second living room that we got so my assistant came today to bring a few packages and she said oh my god this is so beautiful she said she was shocked when she saw it and I like it mm. Mm. 
I did so well. But it's not done. So we haven't got a little table there. I want to set up the projector. We have a projector because we don't have a TV, right? I also want to get like a bookshelf because we don't have one, but we have so many coffee table books over there. Guys, I can't believe I haven't been at home even a hot minute and it's already time to pack again. But I kind of managed to do, well, some progress. As you can see, I have my ballerinas now laid out. I have, well, I packed one pair of loafers, but I have my loafers. I have majority of my sling bags here here are still some sandals i'm yet to kind of organize and understand this actually Filippo still wants to go next weekend somewhere warm we're trying i don't know why i look like this i mean i know i washed my face i masked i yeah let's just ignore it okay i packed i did some unboxings and i still have two actually big boxes in my corridor for my Teresa that i want to unbox that i thought i was gonna do in this video but then things just get out of it but honestly like i also thought i was gonna show you the living room the updated living room in this video and i haven't managed and i want to show it to you during the daylight but now it's evening already and i'm packing as you could have seen some of the shoes that are packed are these they're missing on the shelf love them so much and also probably my, one of my most worn are these the salon ones i've just actually done a blog post about my most worn shoes of the fashion month and those were definitely definitely there now i'm actually not leaving for that long i'm leaving for like three days but it feels like it's for so long because we're flying to barcelona then to london and then back here so yeah yeah, and then it's not really going to be that long, but it just feels like I need so many things with me because I have quite a few events. Now, yeah, I'm like reorganizing some things. I also, because I'm going to England, I want to see and like pack some things that I actually want to leave in England that I'm not going to need. And one. So yeah, sorry about the living room. I know I promised that I didn't deliver in this video, but I'm going to try and make sure that that, I don't know if it's going to be in the next video because the next video is going to be like Barcelona. I actually go to Salvador Dali's museum. I've visited in before when i was 17 or 18 i loved it it was one of the most impressive museums in figueras that i've ever been well in my life but that's the museum i'm talking about i love it so 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 much so that's where we're going and then i'm going to london where i will be attending a miso event and yeah that is basically then i have like a full day of uh, meetings in london which i'm very very excited for because i'll be seeing some people that i haven't seen for a long time but also in this video since now i'm packing I'm packing everything that i've packed is like black and white not very creative but hmm, maybe i should pack my lowest squeeze bag i love this bag you guys i don't know if i've like actually told you how much i love this bag but i really really love it first of all i love this color for fall I, I think it fits so much it's so great and also it's just like really beautiful i love the squeeze bit obviously it's like that shape of bag that fits so many different things i love it and there's another bag that i really 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 love lately it's this bag from the row i mean the truth is i would buy everything from the row i I love the row. Everything that they're doing is so good. The last collection was just insane anyway i want to show you something else i think you guys know my position about the hermes bags how much i love them how much i actually love the game i love the game i know lots of people don't like the game of chasing of getting the quota and stuff but i love things like that i know okay let me just give you a little bit of context like, i'm a little bit weird that we all know right when i was at university i would always tell myself how much i love the exam period it's the most stressful time the time when you don't have any life when you're not going out when you are drinking energy drinks and eating crisps and like unhealthy food because you live in the library at the university of brighton a library during the exam period was open 24 hours i was often going home from library at like 2 a.m and then sleeping and then in the morning going back to the library it was like a full-on library life actually i miss those days okay i even back at the beginning of my career like wrote a blog post from library because i was blogging full-time but i had nowhere to show you an outfit from but from the library so it was the actual library life and because the times could be tough i would always convince myself how much i love it that's kind of how my brain works i've learned that about myself at a young age that if i convince myself to something life will be so much easier so i convinced myself that i love the exam period and i always always did so well at my exams equally so i convinced myself that i love fashion weeks i love the period of fashion week i love it i love it i love it i love it so when it comes it's not like a stuff you know i try to kind of put this into the process of like mentalization where i like actually convince myself of something and equally so i've convinced myself how much i love the hermes game i never feel like when my friends text me and they're like oh i'm so mad at their mess they like refuse me or oh they didn't want to give me this and i'm just like it's a game you know not really that important not really that deep
sleep so many times guys if you only knew how many times in life and in this job i live through rejections if only you knew you would be like wow 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 very often my colleagues or my friends we would live like through the same rejection and they would be like but how they would be like still so angry and i'm like it's okay it's part of the game and you know even back in the days when like i remember being a student and someone like a bouncer doesn't let you in a club you can't be bitter about it you know what i mean for me it's all part of the game so anyway talking about the hermes game you guys know how i feel about it I actually love it my perception when buying watches or handbags is i always buy from the boutique i like that with my admar piguet watches with my hermes bags i show them to you and i like go and shop for them the unboxings but there is a bag that i want that i really want and i mentioned it and i want a vintage bag and equally so the same for chanel right i actually buy majority of my chanel stuff from the boutiques but when i went to tokyo guys the vintage bags that i got do you know that like chanel team and the chanel sales associates stopped me to ask where did i get that bag and they're like you need to give me the name of the tokyo vintage place because it's so good and it is so good i'm just looking at it because i need to pack it for travel for tomorrow it's here tokyo did something to me and i really fell in love with the world of vintage i bought as you guys know the two bags the other chanel one as well which is somewhere here it's at the back there but anyway i love that bag so much i worn it a ton and there is one vintage bag from hermes that i've been wanting but i really really want a vintage i don't want it like pristine new condition even though i was offered this exact same bag from the store brand new i will insert a picture actually because i'm sure i have it because filippo was getting it for me but i said no to it because i said that the, the color and the hardware combination doesn't really make sense for my collection however i ended up getting it vintage and i am so 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 happy i've just actually unboxed it today i mean it still comes in like a proper full-on everything but i haven't done the unboxing because well i've only done unboxings in the past when i got things from the store so they were like fully kind of enclosed and closed from the store i don't know why that is that's just how i felt but also the moment that this bag arrived i was like cannot wait so anyway i wanted to show you this beauty over here i got a kelly 28 in box leather with gold hardware now as you can see this is a gorgeous gorgeous vintage bag and i really actually wanted it even a little bit more battered when i was last time in england i wanted to get like some of the like older bags that are a little bit more battered i'm in that vibe now okay i wanted it even a little bit more battered it's actually like pretty much in pristine condition i don't know if you can see you will probably see if i show you the back like look at this there's a like little scratch and a little dent here but nothing significant and then inside yeah it's just you know there are some signs of wear close to the buckle can you see so beautiful now i really love the box leather and especially love the my black constance box with palladium hardware and i would have loved if i got this bag with palladium hardware but i believe that when they're vintage the more common one is the gold hardware that you can find in the market i also thought the price was like really good for the vintage box uh kelly's i do think the price is pretty good and i really like it like i said i was offered this bag new as well i passed on it and filippo really wanted me to get it but eventually i told him like listen i really wanted vintage but you know when i'm getting vintage i need to make sure that it's 1000 authentic and so first of all i got it from someone that i like know and that i'm like 100 sure about so yeah this is like new old baby in my collection and I'm so happy about it. I just think this is gonna be such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful girl for the auto winter season. And I actually am thinking of bringing her tomorrow with me on the trip. That's why I'm showing her to you now because I think that could be cute. How freaking adorable. Love it. Anyway, also because I wanna get rid of all of this mess around me and I wanna pack. So I'm gonna bring my squeeze, I'm gonna bring the robe bag and I'm gonna bring this beauty. But I'm now waiting still for Filippo to come home so that he can actually see her before i bring her away because i'm curious to hear what he's thinking so yeah that's basically that i don't know if i've ever shown you on my youtube also ladies and gentlemen what i got at the hermes sample sale i got this skirt i think this is from auto winter last season it doesn't say but it's a cashmere mohair skirt and it's a quarter of a price basically it was 2200 and i paid less than a quarter of a price for it maybe i should also bring this and i got a matching knit how cute is this so it's a full set it was really really well priced i also got a leather dress 
Actually, you know what? You can go and watch it on my TikTok. It's all on my TikTok. I got a jacket and a dress. The dress is here. But the jacket is hanging over there. Here we go. That is the dress that I got. It's kind of open. I also got my mom something. My mom has been an Hermes scarf collector for many years. She loves the silk scarves. So I got her a blue one because she normally has like very natural colors. And I got her this one with like green and pink because I think these would be really cute for the summer holidays in winter. Does that make sense? I hope so. Anyway, so so that's basically that what is this okay i'm just checking what is this but i got like a ton of stuff that i had that taylor brought back i actually have another pair of hermes trousers Saint Laurent trousers like your girls getting ready for autumn and winter i just had to tailor them to make them a bit shorter because i don't know like they make these trousers for like really 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 tall people oh this came from dry oh no this also got fixed because on one of the sleeves i broke it oh, i can see where it was and she's done a great job i think it was on this one actually i don't even know so my tailor who's so incredible she comes to my house and does everything and i'm gonna pack this cake in it because it's amazing done so yeah that's that i am getting ready for fall ladies and gentlemen i think i'm gonna bring some of these bags you know that i don't keep anymore all the stuff at the home so i'm gonna bring some of these things back to england or to our vault in bank because of obvious reasons but i don't think i'll be wearing like this kind of color that much right now especially now that i have a bird fit i mean i will be wearing it just not like throughout the autumn winter just to not cause any confusion so i like to rotate my bags because in england i still have lots of handbags i you know i like to diversify where i keep my stuff so that i don't ever find myself in a situation that i was in before i always tell to filippo you know when bad things happen it's absolutely fine as long as you learn something from them but if bad things happen happen to you over and over again and you don't learn anything from them then you're constantly stuck in like a bad cycle of things that it's just not the vibe anyway i think i'm gonna leave you guys here i'm sorry i don't know what this video was about okay have not one clue i hope you enjoyed it at least a little bit because it was a very chatty me talking to my friends kind of video and i will see you in the next one because tomorrow morning we are leaving to spain so hasta luego bye guys